Good morning, YouTube. One of the most common requests I've gotten of late is to show how to move to custom ROMs from stock Froyo on the Galaxy S. So what I have here is a fresh install of 2.2 Froyo on my i9000. Um, this is uh, 2.2, this is the JL2 version, completely 100% stock. Now all the videos I've done so far show me upgrading to a custom ROM, this is starting from Eclair. Eclair comes with 2E recovery. The problem when you go to Froyo is they have changed the recovery version to recovery 3E. Now recovery 3E, one of the changes is it does not allow you to flash unsigned zips. And so this presents a problem when you want to move to a custom ROM or do any kind of flashing via clockwork mod. So what we're going to do in this video is I'm going to show you how we're going to change the kernel. So I'm going to go for, first I'm going to go into recovery just to show you the that this has recovery 3E. So to go into recovery we hold three buttons, volume up, power, and home. And that should put us into recovery. We can release when we see the logo. Okay, so that is the stock recovery menu that comes with Froyo. As you can see, it comes with Recovery 3E, Android System Recovery 3E. To get to Clockwork Mod on your phone with Froyo and Recovery 3E, you first want to download two files to your computer. You want to download the Odin application and you want to download a kernel with Clockwork Mod. Here is the thread on XDA with the Odin application. So download this zip file. Let's extract that one also. Let's go to the development section and today we're going to choose a speed mod kernel. The link will be below. From uh, Hardcore's speed mod kernel thread, you'll be able to find the zip file to download. It's uh, in the first post, and you want to download the .zip file that is Odin flashable. That's the .zip file that does not have CWM. CWM is Clockwork Mod, so let's uh, go ahead and download that. We have our file downloaded. Let's go ahead and extract it. We have downloaded our two files and unpacked them into the right folders. So here's our folder that contains the Odin application and here's our folder that contains the speed mod kernel. So let's go ahead and open the Odin application. We have Odin open. Next thing we want to do is put the phone in recovery mode or in download mode. So let's uh, shut the phone off. Let's go into download mode. Plug in the phone. And you can see, we see a yellow com message there. And it says the phone has been added. So the next thing we want to do is choose the kernel file that we downloaded. So 
to do that, we press the PDA button here. Here's the folder with our speed mod kernel. And there's our kernel.tar file. So we'll pick that. Okay, so the file we picked appears there. Our phone is plugged in. We've picked the file. That's it. Now, pressing start will flash that kernel onto our phone. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, let's press start. Flashing a kernel is very fast. There was our reset command. Pass. And now the phone is booting. That happened in about two or three seconds. That's about how fast it takes. So let's uh, get our phone to boot. So what we just did is we took a stock Froyo phone and flashed a new kernel that has clockwork mod built into it. So we haven't changed anything else on the phone. We haven't enabled any of the performance tweaks that come with the kernel. Our phone is done rebooting, so we can disconnect it. We finished flashing our kernel. Now if we go into the settings, about phone, you can see the kernel version has changed now. That's about the only change that's made to the phone. So now look what happens if we are to go into recovery mode. As this kernel comes with uh, clockwork mod baked right into it, now we're not gonna go into the stock recovery screen anymore. We're not gonna go into recovery 3E. There's that classic green menu. We are now in Clockwork Mod Recovery. At this point, you can flash all kinds of zip files through here. You can flash Darkies ROM or any other ROM or Clockwork Mod flashable zip file from here. Thank you for watching.